thirsty. South Fresno, California has an aura the color of dust. While there are some buildings here, warehouses, modest homes, the landscape is really defined by its many vacant spaces, all dull earth and spiny weeds. 2021 South Peach Avenue appears to be more of the same, but past the boarded up buildings, past the fence posts that were once connected with chain link, there lies an oasis. Heart-shaped leaves of taro grow as wide as lunch trays, grassy stalks of sugarcane taller than an adult, long beans, bitter melons, spotted cucumbers. Each vine turns its trellis into a wall of leaves. And there is rice, dense stands of green that would be six foot, feet tall, but for the plump grains that pull each stem down into the graceful arc of a swan's neck. With a breeze, the blades swish and the ripe hulls chatter. The gardeners here are Hmong, an ethnic group from the mountains of Southeast Asia. They are traditionally subsistence farmers, and their main crop, 80% of their diet, is rice. The grain is so essential to them, at times they have used it as a currency. So here is the problem. In 2013, the two-acre Hmong garden at Peach Avenue used 20,575,000 gallons of water. On maps monitoring water shortage in the United States, nearly the entire state of California is covered by a splotch the color of dried blood, signifying exceptional drought, the most dire category. In the past 12 months, Fresno has received just 4.99 inches of precipitation. In Laos, where nearly every gardener at Peach Avenue learned to grow food, the average is 60 inches, five feet of precipitation, all of it rain. Within that moisture evolved the crops that matter to the Hmong, the plants they grow here to ground themselves in a place that still feels alien after 30 years. Taro, sugarcane, lemongrass, rice.